morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm actually really excited to vlog today. Feeling good, feeling fresh, also hair just curled well. You know when you're just having a good hair day? It's actually a little bit greasy, but this bottom section, it just curls well. I'm happy about that. I am gonna book myself in for a haircut, just like mid to end Feb, because I'm gonna be doing so much like book promo stuff in March, my hair needs to be looking good. I've got quite a few grey hairs, but I'm gonna make sure to tell him just to trim it because I know you guys love it long and I'm quite enjoying it long too. So I've just been doing my makeup and getting ready for the day. I'm actually at home today, but I wanted to get dressed properly and do my makeup and hair because it makes me feel way more productive and I need to have a very productive day today. I am gonna be vlogging though, and this vlog is very kindly sponsored by Clio, and I actually can't wait to tell you guys about this because I think you're really gonna love it. So I'm gonna tell you a bit more about Clio and what Clio is, or who Clio is, in a little bit in this vlog. I just wanna put something on my lips. I don't know whether to put, let me just put a bit of lip balm on first. I really wanted to try out this Dior Glow in Halo Pink, which is one of the limited editions. It's like a lip balm, but it's like holographic pink. And I actually normally wear matte lips. I never really wear glittery lips, but there's something about this that makes me want to try it. I'm just putting on a bit of Glossier Balm.com because my lips are a bit dry. I don't know if I'm going to regret this because it might leave me with glitter on my mouth all day. I'm just going to put a little bit on. Do I look glittery? I think the idea is that it kind of plumps up your lips. Hmm. Let's leave it at that, not go too overboard. I really like the formula of the lip glows though. Okay, so what is the plan for today? I have an important phone call with Hodda to talk through um, the page proofs of my book. So this is kind of the last thing before it goes and gets printed. They just have a few questions about some of my kind of corrections that I made. And then I've got a sofa being delivered. Very exciting. I will talk you guys through that and show you what we got. Just kind of getting my life in order. I've got a long list of to-dos that I need to do. I'm gonna head downstairs and have some breakfast first. Seeing as I'm working from home all day, so I know that I've got a long period of time where I can burn this candle without ruining it, I'm gonna treat myself and light my Diptyque Rose Delight candle. I'm actually not a massive rose fan in terms of candles but i definitely want to use my candles more this year but i'm going to start with this one look how pretty the packaging is and i think this will help me be very productive today i'm going to put it next to me i've got my tea laptop glasses definitely want to wear my glasses today because yesterday i had a real headache after sitting at my computer oh i've got a call in five minutes okay it's call time Let me bring you guys a little closer in. You are too low down, what can I rest you on? Okay, you are sitting on a pile of books. Let me take my glasses off because I don't need them to talk to you guys. I wanna to talk to you guys today about Clio because as I said, they are sponsoring this video and I get questions a lot about life organization, money management, saving, all things like that really. And I tweeted last week about, was it last week? Maybe a couple of weeks ago about Clio because I've been using the service for about three months now and I got a really funny message from Clio saying that I'd spent more than 97% of customers at H&M Home or something hilarious that I had to tweet because home hauls. But I thought you guys would be really interested in this because I know a lot of you are the same age as me and you're often asking for advice it's different for everyone, but I've always been very good with budgeting money, knowing how much I've got to play with and always making sure I'm saving a certain amount every month since I left uni and got my first job. Actually, I got my first job at 15, but I mean like first proper job out of uni. I've always had some kind of like savings in place of some sort. So if that's something you're looking to do, then I think you might be really interested in Clio. 
Now let me try and explain what it is. It's basically like having a friendly assistant on your phone who helps you manage your money. But it's not like logging into your online banking and checking your bank balance. It's a conversational interface. So you can literally have a conversation with this little assistant on your phone who's fully aware of your spending habits. Now, before you freak out and worry like I did initially, it's a read-only access. So if, when you give access to Clio, they can literally just read your statements, nothing more than that. So it's completely safe and you don't have to worry. So the whole point of Clio is that you can budget and save. So Clio works on your Facebook Messenger and you can literally have a conversation. So you can say like, how's my budget looking this month? I'm gonna put something, a little video up on the screen actually because I feel like it shows you really clearly what it's like to have Clio on your Facebook Messenger. And by the way, this is just an example. This isn't a video of my bank account or anything like that. You can ask how much have I spent on Uber this month? How much have I spent on eating out this month? How's my savings looking? If you have like a savings plan in place, you can really ask so many different questions. And I also find that Clio is just so fun. She's got like a real personality. She often sends gifts, which are really funny, and I just really like getting updates. It really reminds me to be on top of my spending and be really aware of how much I've got to go shopping or whether this month I should not shop as much. Sometimes I get messages saying, here's what you've spent this month so far, or this is what you spent on the weekend, and I find those messages really helpful. I just think it's a really good idea. I think it's really easy to keep on top of your money and I thought you guys would like it because it's something that I definitely enjoy doing and I'm 100% gonna stay on Clio. I've been testing it out for a few months for this video and I'm definitely gonna keep using it because it's, it's just been really helpful. My friend Lucy has used it for ages and she told me about it and I'm annoyed that I waited so long to sign up because yeah, really been enjoying it. So I'm really glad I could share that with you guys and introduce you to something great. I also think it's quite fitting to talk about money management in this vlog because I think today I want to show you some new things that we've got for the home and some new things that I've bought to wear. I've been quite good at not shopping much over the last couple of months. I have got some new things, um, all high street items, I think, um, of clothing that I'll show you in this video, I'll do a little bit of a haul. And then we've got a couple of new sofas that I really wanna show you. It's really exciting getting new things for the home, but as we're probably gonna do like a full renovation, I also don't wanna get too many nice things because then we're gonna have to just like throw them in storage when we do up the house, so. I'm getting like a few nice bits, but they're surrounded by not nice things. Anyway, it's nice to get the odd thing here and there. So I'll show you that as well in a bit. I just need to do some work first. I think my sister's gonna pop round with Rocco, her youngest. So that'll be nice to have a quick cuddle, always cheers me up. Candle is going strong. It smells nice actually. It's not too strong rose, it's quite a subtle scent, which I like. Oh my God, I just heard the delivery men pull up outside. I am so excited. We are getting a snuggler, which is basically their version of a love seat from Arlo and Jacob. We're getting a snuggler for downstairs and a chair for upstairs. I'm gonna ask the door to the delivery men and then once it's all set up, I'll talk you through it. So basically, backstory. Um, I recently showed on my Instagram stories that I bought a sofa bed from Heels. We have, I've been wanting a sofa bed for my office for quite a while um, because my office is basically our second bedroom, our spare room. So I wanted to get a sofa bed for my office. Sorry, let me take these off. Um, and I've been looking for one for ages. They're quite pricey. Um, even the one from Ikea, I wanted one that kind of looks like a sofa. It doesn't pull out, it kind of just goes flat, um, a bit like the one that Anna has. Even the one from Ikea was like 550, and the one I really liked was from sofa.com, which was even more expensive. But then when I looked into it more, like Anna actually gave me this tip, she said make sure when you look for your sofa bed like that, that it actually is kind of like a double size, because a lot of them are a lot smaller. So actually once I started looking at the dimensions, the sofa.com one that I liked was actually too small. I want it to fit two people comfortably. If they're people, if my friends and like family or whatever are gonna stay over, I want them to be comfortable. So I ended up looking at heels, which is where Anna got hers from, and I found one that was in the sale. Still expensive, but 
you know, it, it's instead of us buying a double bed for our spare room. So I actually ended up buying that one. Um, it came, actually I'll quickly show you upstairs. I went for blue velvet. As I said on Instagram stories, um, it was definitely more blue than I expected, but I think it's really cool. Um, I like kind of statement furniture. And when the room's actually done and it's painted and we have a new window and there's so much more that we wanna do in this room, um, I think it will look really cool and I'll be able to like style it out. So this is the sofa bed from Heels. Blue velvet, really gorgeous, soft. Um, it's kind of like a royal blue. And then it kind of folds, this back bit folds down and it's a really comfortable bed. This light, by the way, is from Aldi. I'm obsessed with them. I've got bedside lights and two of these as well because they're so cheap. So this is the Heels sofa bed that we bought. But then I also got an email from the lovely people at Arlo and Jacob and they wanted to introduce their brand to me. This is not a flattering light. And honestly, I'd never heard of Arlo and Jacob before. So I was really excited to discover the brand and they invited me into their showroom. So I went with Rich and my parents actually one weekend and we had a little look around. And they have some gorgeous, gorgeous sofas. And they actually offered to send me one, which I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world, especially after splurging on this one. As I'm sure all of you would, I said, yes, please, I would absolutely love one. So they kindly sent me a couple of bits and I'm over the moon, that's what came today. The first thing is this cocktail chair and it's like a light pink blush. I absolutely love this. I want this for our like inbuilt um, bench downstairs where we get a dining table, this sort of, I don't even know what it's called, this style, but I love it. So it's a little chair, and the idea of this was that it would sit in this corner. One day I would paint this and like put some prints on the wall and make it cool, and it could be like a little filming corner for me for when I do beauty videos or any kind of like sit down videos. I'm not sure now that the pink and the blue might be too much together. It's so hard to tell because the floor's not done, the wall's not done, the window's not done, like it's really hard to tell. For now I think it's gonna live in this corner, but I could also use this on my vanity desk, I could use it in the other room. It's gorgeous, I'm so, so happy with this. So let me go downstairs and show you the snuggler. It's the best bit. So the rest of the furniture in our lounge um, is the stuff that we had in the flat. Our sofa was from Multi York, um, the table, the rug are from West Elm. This poof is actually from Next, but my mum ordered me an amazing pink velvet poof for my birthday from Made.com, but it's not coming for a while. So we have this one. Um, and then our armchair is also from West Elm. This was over the other side. We've just moved it here for now. So let me show you the Arlo and Jacob snuggler. Oh my God, isn't it incredible? We went for this teal bluey velvet in the end and they had so many swatches and it took a while to pick because nothing's done in here, but I'm hoping that we could have like navy walls once it's done. And I think, I think it would just look really warm and cozy. I would have loved to go for like a pink or something, but I want this to last. So I wanted to go for something that was like a little bit more subtle, but still a statement because we've got like a gray sofa and everything else is gray. I wanted to have a color. This is gonna be like a no child free zone, but it's so beautiful. We had to go for this specific one because um, a lot of them are much wider. They're like two seater sofas and we just had this little kind of window area to fill. So it's the perfect size. We got the one with brown legs and it's so comfortable. So now we can have like three people on that sofa for a push, one person there, and you can definitely have two on this one, like a couple. The aim was to have room for at least six people. So like when we have friends around, we can all like sit and watch the voice together because that's what me and my friends do because we're really cool. It's so comfortable. I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much to Arlo and Jacob for sending me this. I'm over the moon. And I think I might just make this my new desk. I'm so happy. I feel like our lounge area really feels like a lounge now because there's enough seating for everyone. I need to get around to doing that house tour because I feel like when I talk to you about these things, it's really hard for you to understand like where I'm talking about. I'm gonna do it. Okay, my sister said she is on her way with a very hungry little boy. He's actually just started. Sorry, I'm trying to get into this really awkward. We have these like mega awkward cupboards here. He's just started eating food properly. And so she said, can you scramble him one egg? No salt, please. So I'm on baby food making duties. Rocco's here for some scrambled egg. Mwah. Isn't it cute? So cute. Do you like scrambled egg?
Okay, my sister just popped around for lunch. It was really nice to see her and the baby. Now I'm just gonna carry on with my work. I need to plan out my videos for the next few weeks, month really, because I'm gonna have so much, sorry, the reflection's annoying. I'm gonna have so much like book stuff going on. I can't really pre-film because I do lots of vlogs these days, but I can kind of plan a little bit and think about when I can film stuff. Um, so that is what I'm gonna do now. And then I'll do a quick little haul for you guys, I think. As I said before, I feel like I'm really on top of my budgeting and I've been really good and haven't been shopping for a while. I was really tempted to kind of splurge on a new handbag recently because I thought I needed to treat myself after writing a book. But then I realized I really just don't need one. I laid out my bags and I was like, I don't need a new bag. I have all the bags I could possibly need. I actually really wanna go on a holiday with Rich. So that's something I'm definitely saving up to do. And I wanted to get a few new items of clothing. I really liked my winter wardrobe. And I feel like I've got some really good like jumpers and jeans. But now the weather's kind of changing slightly. I feel like I wanted to get some more transitional pieces. I also wanted to get some items because as I said, I'm going to have lots of events and things around the book. So I want to know I've got a few nice outfits for that. And also a lot of new stuff has been coming into stores and I've really been enjoying it. I don't tend to spend much on clothes during the summer months because I don't really like summer clothes so this is the time of year that i tend to splurge a bit on clothes but nothing's really crazy crazy expensive anyway i'm gonna do a little haul for you guys i hope i'm not too far away you're on my desk i'm on my bed there's nothing in between so this is gonna have to work okay i'm just gonna go through all the things i bought i've kind of laid them out over here oh let me bring them forward first of all are a pair of jeans i have so many jeans i know but i wear them every single day it's my absolute uniform when i'm told i can't wear jeans for something i literally don't know what to wear these are from and other stories and they're do you know what? i don't know what the style is called but they're straight leg and they're cropped but they not they're not frayed at the bottom like a lot of my other ones these to me feel like somewhere in between the Urban Outfitters ones and the Topshop ones. The Urban Outfitters ones are very stretchy and they do get quite baggy. The Topshop ones are so tight I can't breathe in them. So these are somewhere in between and they're really great just like everyday jeans. So I'm happy I got those. Although they were more expensive than I thought. I'm so used to buying Topshop jeans. They're the only jeans I buy and they're £40. And these were about 70 I think. I had a voucher actually from Topshop so most of these things were bought with a voucher which is so fun because it just feels like free shopping it's the best thing ever let me just do them up i know that i need more trousers in my wardrobe because as i said all i wear is jeans um it's just about finding the right ones it's really difficult for me these are really nice they're high-waisted they're navy blue with a kind of green and white pinstripe and they fold up at the bottom they don't fit perfectly i always feel like these sort of trousers are either a bit small or too big so i went for the ones that are a bit small which means that when i sit down they won't be super comfortable but they are really flattering. I thought they'd be good when I'm doing like panel talks and things like that. So those are really nice. All of these things I'm gonna link below. But also, if you're ever like, if you ever wanna know what I'm buying, I've got a section on the front of my blog called Recently Purchased, and I always put the items in there. Or if you go to the top right-hand corner of my blog, um, there's a shop link, and I've got links to wardrobe, beauty, all things like that. So always check that out if you're not sure. Also from Topshop is this grey jumper. Now I saw this in store and it said on the little tag, cashmere blend. So it's really exciting that Topshop have started to do like cashmere blend products because I love cashmere. It makes it so much softer and like nicer to wear. I thought this was really cool because it's like a grey, kind of a thin jumper, but it crosses over at the front. And I just thought it's really different because it's a bit shorter at the front. You can wear it with like trousers and I think that would look really cool. And I just thought that was really nice. Can be worn with jeans as well. And then I saw that Anna bought this one. It's so nice. I said to her, it looks just like her expensive version. I don't know where it's from. I don't tend to buy like designer clothes, but this looks just like another jumper that she has. So I obviously asked her, I was like, is it okay if I buy it? Because I think I might have to. She's like, of course, friends always buy the same things. Um, this is also a cashmere blend. I don't have many black jumpers. In fact, I don't think I have any black jumpers. So I really like this. I like that it's got a bit of a V because it's a bit different to my other jumpers. It's kind of ribbed. Let me stand up for you. I'm sorry, I'm wearing leggings. It's like short, a bit longer at the back, and then it's got slightly fluted sleeves as well, which I just think is really nice. Also from Topshop is this blazer. Now I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with blazers, as you guys know, but I absolutely love the one that Lizzie Hatfield, ha Hatfield, Hatfield, Hatfield. I don't know actually. Sorry, Lizzie. But I went round to her flat recently, and she actually let me try on her Stella McCartney version, which is beautiful. Not only is it not available anymore, but 
I don't think it's the sort of item I would invest in because I don't know if I'd wear it enough, although it was beautiful. But I saw this one in Topshop. It was £65, which is still a lot of money, but way less than designer. And it's a really nice checked blazer. And I just thought it's perfect because it's quite a trend piece for me. I don't know if I'll wear it forever, so I'm happy to buy kind of the Topshop version. It's got this like yellow running through it, which I think is really cool. I'm really into yellow at the moment. And I just think that's really nice. I need to find an excuse to wear it now. I haven't worn it yet. That's everything from Topshop. Yesterday, I picked up some new pyjamas from The White Company. Love pyjamas. I got rid of my Christmas ones and I needed a new set. I normally have kind of two pyjamas on the go so that when one's in the wash, I have another set to wear. These are from The White Company. They're just grey, simple grey, so soft though. And obviously the top to go with it, it's just like a button down. Sorry if it's a bit bright. 95% modal and 5% elastine. I don't know what modal is. It feels a bit like a jersey. Very, very comfortable. Like has like a nice weight to it. This I also picked up yesterday. Um, I went into Whistles looking for their t-shirts because their white t-shirt with the little like slogan there, I wear like to death. I wear it every day. It's the perfect white t-shirt. So I really want to get another one, but they don't have any other styles in like that at the moment. They've changed their t-shirt styles, which is very annoying. But I saw this and I couldn't resist and it was way more than I would normally spend. So I did get this in the end and I'll tell you the reason I got it. First of all, it looks like this. It's navy blue from Whistles and it says Le Weekend. I don't think I would have got this if it was a thick jumper, but it's actually really thin. It's it's hardly a jumper at all and I thought this would be great because I could tuck it into those blue trousers. I could wear it almost like a top and it would work throughout spring as well because I wouldn't get too hot in it. So that's why I thought it was a good thing to invest in because I don't have any other jumpers that are this thin that would work like a top. And I just thought that would be so handy to have in my wardrobe. So I'm really happy with that. But yeah, it's definitely more expensive than I would normally spend on a jumper. So I feel a bit naughty about that. This jumper I actually didn't buy, the brand sent it to me. They emailed me asking if they could send me a gift. Um, they didn't tell me what it was, which is a bit scary because then if I get it and I don't like it, I'm a bit like, sorry. Like I don't mention it if I don't like it and then I feel really bad and I have to offer to send it back and it's pretty awkward. So it was quite risky, but I was willing to take a risk because everything on their website looked so nice. The brand is called Le 100 CL. I'll put the link down below but it's a cashmere brand, so everything's cashmere. And this is such a gorgeous pink cashmere, thick, like ribbed jumper. I love it. I don't have any jumpers like it that's pink. It's quite cropped. They actually sent me a small. When I opened it, I was like, no, I'm not a small, I'm a medium. But my mom was like, don't panic, try it on. It looks quite big. And she's right, actually, it fits perfectly. I'm never as small. So things obviously come oversized from this brand. I really love it. So I'll link that down below. Very lucky to be sent that, it's gorgeous. And then the final item, again, wasn't planning on buying this, but I've had my eye on this coat from Reese for so long. And I didn't buy it initially because I thought it was too expensive for what it was. Um, I had a bit of a voucher to spend at Reese, but I've kind of been saving it. And then it went into the sale and it was half price. Still expensive, but more what I would have expected for a coat. So I got it because, again, I've got nothing like it. When I'm trying to buy things now, I'm trying to buy things I haven't already got. It's a gorgeous, like, khaki green colour. It's like a grey green. It's got these really nice lapels, I think it's called. It's like, I think it's like a peacoat. This is what it looks like. It's got nice black buttons. It's got this little thing on the back. It's very really hard to show you. Let me see if I can put it on. Anyone out my window is going to think I'm crazy. I actually ordered it in a 10 and a 12 and ended up keeping the 12 because the 10 was a bit tight up here. It does come up a little bit small. I really like that and I think it would look so nice with like black skinny jeans and boots, which is not a look I wear that often anymore, but I definitely would crack it out for this coat. And that's everything. That's my recent haul. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs and continue with my work. Something I'd like to ask you guys for help with. I feel like I'm quite good when it comes to certain like decor, but something I find really difficult is cushion styling. Don't even know if that's the thing, but I really struggle to know what like cushions to put in certain places, like my bed, which a bed isn't as big a deal because no one else sees it, but sofa cushions. So the places I need help with are my bed, but more importantly, sofas. I don't know what cushions to put on this. I actually really like this one, which I got from um, Stockholm. So I might put that, maybe I've got another one I could add to it or something else. And then I don't know what to put on our gray sofa. Sorry, it's a mess to make it kind of give it a bit more life. And then on here, we've currently got this. I'm not sure if it works. 
Um, and then upstairs as well on our blue one. I just don't know which cushions to buy, where from. I feel like the ones from H&M Home are a little bit too cheap, like they're a bit thin. If anyone has any cushion recommendations, please let me know. It's something I definitely need help with. Well, this vlog is far too long. I've just been editing and it's almost 25 minutes long. So I think I'm gonna end it here, but there has been so much information in this vlog. So definitely check out the description box for links to Clio, to my furniture that I bought, to all the clothes that I mentioned. I feel like I've packed a lot into this vlog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you on Sunday for my next video. And yeah, I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.